Excellency Deputy Prime Minister of Russia, Alexei Overshuk, distinguished members of the media, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum and very good evening. We are extremely delighted to welcome His Excellency, the Deputy Prime Minister of Russia, and his delegation to Islamabad. The visit represents the increasing depth and expanding scope of bilateral economic cooperation and reflects a clear mutual desire for further strengthening of Pakistan-Russia relations. Strengthening mutually beneficial cooperation with the Russian Federation remains an important priority of our foreign policy. Pakistan-Russia relations have come a long way. In Pakistan, there is a desire to forge strong cooperation with the Russian Federation. We believe that a step-by-step -step approach based on trust and mutual respect has put the relationship on a very positive track. We, had, we held in-depth friendly discussions today with an agenda focused on assessment of bilateral cooperation and outlining of further potential for expansion of economic relationship between our two countries. We agreed today to identify specific projects in all areas of mutual interest on the bilateral agenda, including trade, economy, energy, connectivity, culture, educational relations, and people-to-people -people contacts. Pakistan-Russia bilateral trade last year reached the unprecedented mark of one billion US dollars. Expansion and strengthening of trade relations by working out logistic and related issues is a priority for both sides. Energy cooperation holds potential and we aim to explore this avenue further. We had detailed discussion this evening between the two sides. In addition, both sides are eager to develop connectivity projects including rail and road networks between the two countries and beyond. In terms of cultural and educational ties, we are pleased to see increased contacts between universities of our two countries. In July this year, PM Shahbaz Sharif and President Putin held a very productive and, and, and pleasant meeting on the sidelines of SEO Summit, which was held in Astana, that provided an important direction for the expansion of bilateral relations. We look forward to welcome Russian Prime Minister, Mr. Ms. Houston, for the SEO Council of Heads of Government meeting next month. Another important event on our calendar of bilateral engagements in Russian Federation Council speaker would visit Pakistan in October, which is just next month. Additionally, preparations are, are being made for the ninth session of the Pakistan-Russia Intergovernmental Commission on Trade, Economy, Science, Technology, Culture, which is scheduled to be held in Russia by end of this year. Our discussion today also focused on strengthening cooperation and multilateral fora, including United Nations and SCO. Pakistan is extremely grateful for Russian support to its bid for membership of Pakistan as member, member of the BRICS. Pakistan views Russia on an important player in the West, South and Central Asia. Pakistan and Russia have good cooperation on Afghanistan. We aim to continue cooperation with our Russian friends on realizing our common goal of peace and stability in Afghanistan. We note Russia's historically strong relations with the Muslim world and the growing cooperation with the OIC as well as its position on the Palestine conflict. We greatly appreciate the stance of the Russian people and the government of, of Russia in respect for all religions and their unequivocal position that freedom of speech must not become an instrument to disrespect revered personalities or religions and not to hurt sentiments of the Muslim Ummah. I would like to once again thank Deputy Prime Minister and his delegation for the timely visit. We hope to continue high-level context and reiterate Pakistan's commitment to deepening 
and strengthening relations with the Russian Federation. I thank you all. Thank you. Your Excellency, uh, Mr. Deputy uh, Prime Minister and the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dar. It's indeed a pleasure for myself and members of my delegation to be here in Pakistan. It is a great uh, honor uh, to meet uh, with such distinguished uh, group of people who are, uh, who are demonstrating their uh, desire and willingness to expand and develop uh, trade and economic and cultural ties with the Russian Federation. Indeed, we are demonstrated increased uh, depth and scope and interest in taking our relationship further, which is based on now a long history of 75 years of, almost 75 years of diplomatic uh, relations between our two countries. Um, we have had a very deep discussion today, touching all sectors of our economies, indicating interest where our countries could be helpful to each other, and uh, it covers a wide range of areas starting from trade, energy, connectivity, education, business-to-business um, -business contacts, people-to-people. -people. Uh, we would also be interested in expanding the regional dimension of uh, these contacts. And we have uh, discussed our uh, collaboration within international organizations, including the Shanghai Organization uh, of Cooperation, and indeed the uh, tr uh, presidency in the uh, in the Council of, uh, of the heads of governments of this organization is currently uh, in, within Pakistan. And within a month, there will be a meeting, of, uh, a prime minister level meeting here in Islamabad. And uh, Prime Minister Mishusting is expected to uh, take part in this meeting. Uh, we have, uh, we have, uh, uh, indicate, we have seen that our goals and our vision for development of economic ties and other ties within the Shanghai Organization of Cooperation are very much aligned, and they include uh, increase, improving connectivity in the SOC region. Uh, they, in, 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 they include the increase of uh, share of transactions performed in national currencies. Uh, they include issues of addressing the climate agenda, uh, food security, energy transition, and energy security. All these issues are on the table. And uh, tomorrow, uh, uh, our relevant representatives of our relevant competent authorities uh, would have the opportunity to meet and discuss uh, this wide range of issues and specific projects that uh, we've uh, indicated today, have just had a chance to indicate today uh, in a greater depth and detail. We have also discussed the prospects for collaboration between uh, Pakistan and the Eurasian Economic Union, which is an economic union of five member states, including Armenia, Belarus, uh, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzia, and Russia. And uh, we uh, have uh, discussed the opportunities for um, implementing a free trade agreement between Pakistan and our five countries, uh, which are joined in the EIU. And uh, this is something that uh, we would certainly be uh, willing to uh, also discuss in uh, greater detail in the months to come. Certainly, we are expecting the meeting of the, our intergovernmental uh, commission uh, in Russia later this year, which would also provide uh, an impulse to uh, further development of uh, trade and economic relationship between our countries. Um, I would once again like to thank our Pakistani host for this wonderful, warm hospitality. Thank you.
Uh, we are uh, very pleased to have uh, media from both uh, Pakistan and the Russian Federation present today. Uh, both sides have agreed that uh, the two deputy prime ministers will take uh, two questions each from Pakistani and the Russian media. So the um, first question will be asked by Mr. Mateen Haider, uh, a Pakistani journalist, addressed to the deputy prime minister of Pakistan. Thank you. Hi. Uh, so Mr. Deputy Prime Minister, we have seen increase in bilateral cooperation between Russia and Pakistan in the field of energy and agriculture. So both countries are rich in agriculture, but Pakistani agriculture definitely needs Russian cooperation. And to what extent Pakistan will go to Russia to get more LNG and oil? And second part of uh, the question is that uh, barter trade is also being discussed. And if it is uh, finalized between Pakistan and <coughs> Russia, it would be a revolution in trade, particularly between two big countries. Pakistan is a big country in South Asia and Russia is a global economic power. So barter trade and cooperation in energy and agriculture. Thank you. Thank you, Mateen Haider uh, uh, Let me say that uh, there is indeed a great potential between the two countries. That's why we are uh, very deeply engaged uh, with Russia for the, for, uh, you know, uh, for the entire uh, you know, period of PDM government as well as this government, and uh, in the sidelines of uh, uh, SCO summit, uh, heads of uh, state in Astana in May this year, then uh, we had, uh, you know, extensive consultations between the foreign ministers, and uh, you know, uh, the, the the volume of trade which has already, uh, you know, created a first new uh, benchmark, uh, the the highest so far, one billion dollar. Uh, in their last fiscal year. I think there's a great potential and uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, we, are, we are looking into all aspects because, because of the sanctions uh, on Russia, we had certain constraints because uh, the, you said that uh, uh, agriculture, yes, we have a great potential. We agree to produce goes both ways. We uh, sell to Russia, Russia sells to us and $1 billion includes, uh, you know, the agriculture produce, but surely uh, the second one is the, uh, you know, the energy, uh, the LNG and the, and the, and the uh, you know, oil. We have done, if you recall, we had actually, we are the, uh, in, we are the initiator in October 2022 with the U.S. government that uh, if a neighbor can buy from Russia, why can't we? And I represented Pakistan, uh, you know, uh, after the IMF World Bank meetings in uh, October, uh, you know, the uh, winter meetings, and we had a detailed uh, engagement with the uh, U.S. State Department. So we agreed that we can, and they said they are in the process of setting up a, a, a pricing committee. So, uh, you know, the whole anybody and everybody, which, which obviously applies to our neighbor and others, should not pay a, pr a penny more, a cent more. So I think uh, we even today looked at how we expand uh, our, rela our relationship and overcome this constraint of the banking uh, you know, uh, which are facing banking sector, the sanctions, which obviously constrained uh, the volume of relationship. It could have been much bigger. So we are very much focused, uh, Mateen Heather Saab. Uh, I think uh, you will be very happy to buy the, uh, you know, the energy products, particularly crude oil. And uh, there is increasing uh, scope between the two countries. Uh, there is the Pakistan-Russia uh, uh, Trade and Investment Forum. Uh, which is taking place of its unique nature, first time from 30th September to 1st of October uh, in, in uh, Moscow. So, you know, we are, we are looking into all areas of mutual cooperation, be it trade, connectivity, road, railways, uh, and, and uh, energy, agriculture, uh, you know, even education. So, you know, we, we, we are uh, deeply involved and engaged with each other. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Dmitry Vinogradov of Novosti News Agency will address a question to the Russian Deputy Prime Minister. Спасибо, да. Добрый день. Если можно на русском я спрошу, Алексей Владимирович. Вот мой вопрос, в принципе, касается того, что вы уже говорили, но, может быть, есть возможность подробнее немного рассказать. Какие основные вопросы сотрудничества России и Пакистана обсуждались на этой встрече, вот которая только что закончилась? Mm -hmm. Mr. Overchuk, you have already pro told us about the questions uh, that you discussed with your Pakistani colleagues, but can you tell us in detail what exactly did you discuss uh, regarding the cooperation between Russia and Pakistan? 
Thank you very much for your question. Um, of course, uh, we have uh, 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 just briefly outlined in our opening remarks the main areas for which were identified as areas of collaboration. Uh, of course, connectivity within the region is a very important subject, and uh, we've introduced our colleagues with the work we're doing on developing the North-South uh, Transport Corridor. And uh, we've uh, discussed the benefits of uh, joining North-South Cor Transport Corridor with uh, the Belt and Road Initiative, uh, which is promoted by the People's Republic of China. And we have, uh, we have introduced our colleagues with the work which has been done between the Eurasian Economic Commission and the People's Republic of China in this respect. And of course, uh, we are interested in uh, developing uh, uh, railroad connectivity. And there is existing infrastructure which can uh, support uh, movement of goods between our countries. And uh, there are also very good examples now of uh, cargo being moved by, uh, uh, by trucks, uh, whether through Iran, Azerbaijan, Turkmenistan, or directly uh, through Afghanistan and then north to Central Asia. All this is happening now. So and th these are very important developments. Of course, in the uh, uh, food security, uh, sector. We have uh, uh, discussed the issues of exports and imports, uh, as well as we have discussed, uh, we were introduced with the, uh, with the ideas of improving uh, farm production and increasing farm production here in Pakistan. And there's a lot where Russia can contribute to those programs. And not just by providing uh, mineral fertilizers, but taking part in upgrading of uh, uh, Pakistan's uh, fertilizer production facilities, or sharing our knowledge and know-how in production of farm machinery. So we've discussed those issues today and tomorrow. Our uh, experts from relevant ministries and agencies would have a chance to go further into those details. Of course, people-to-people -people contacts, and I would also like to repeat that uh, on the 30s of September, from the 30s of September till the 2nd of October this year, uh, the, uh, there will be a, a trade and investment forum in Moscow, a Russian-Pakistani trade and investment forum. And uh, we are expecting representatives of many companies from Pakistan and Russia to join together and discuss how they can do business. And uh, this is probably the best way to contribute to improving and increasing trade uh, between our, our countries. Um, and of course, the energy sector, uh, Mr. Deputy Prime Minister has already touched on that, so I, won't, uh, I will not repeat this. There is an educational sector, and there is a strong interest in Pakistan on uh, having uh, uh, on, on, uh, uh, access, uh, interest in access to Russian educational system. We have discussed that as well. And we are also interested in uh, promoting uh, the use of the Russian language here in Pakistan. And there are teachers of Russian language which are uh, being sent to Pakistan to uh, help uh, help in this. So the, the, these are the issues that we were discussing. And Mr. Artem Popov, uh, TASS News Agency will address a question to the Pakistani Deputy Prime Minister. Uh, thank you, my friend. Uh, you know, we have been uh, uh, deeply engaged uh, for the last few years. I remember the, uh, you know, the Intergovernmental Commission meeting in Moscow in 2016-17, uh, 
uh, I represented Pakistan as the Minister for Finance, Revenue and Economic Affair. So we have been uh, uh, involved in the Paytm government last, last year, 2022-2023. And uh, recent, as I said, that uh, Prime Minister Shabash Sharif had detailed discussion with uh, His Excellency, the President uh, of Russia, uh, Mr. Putin, and uh, both myself and the uh, Foreign Minister of uh, Russia, Mr. Lavrov, are there. So the idea is that uh, we should work on uh, how we can increase and enhance uh, our energy cooperation, how can we work together on food security, how can we work together on uh, north-south connectivity, how can we work together on other areas of culture, education, and on top of everything, I think the SEO provides us a, a great forum. Both countries are members, and uh, you know its, uh, its uh, goal uh, is to uh, work for the regional peace development uh, and stability uh, and, and uh, for the betterment of the people uh, for the whole region. So I think our cooperation will continue and uh, you know uh, luckily uh, we would be working with Russia on another multilateral forum at the United Nations Security Council from 1st of January 2025 to 31st of December 2026. So we would cover you know the global issues like I said Russia's stance has been very clear on Gaza and so has been Pakistan's stance. So we have been voicing at OIC, we have been voicing at D8, we have been voicing at a special uh, you know uh, uh, summit uh, uh, invited and uh, arranged by King of Jordan, uh, President Vijay, President Secretary General. So I think there are a host of issues global, regional and uh, local that we can work together. Our bilateral relations, as well as parallel, we will work on the multilateral for, uh, fora, which is uh, one of the you know, great fora is the Security Council itself. So we will work together. And skewed on the SEO, I think uh, we have a you know, common agenda uh, as two of the SEO members. So I think there is a great scope of enhancement between uh, uh, the economic ties as well as uh, the other areas of cooperation between the two countries. And we have committed that both sides will continue to uh, work hard and expand this uh, area of cooperation. Uh, Ms. Sumera Khan of uh, Sama Television will address a question to the Russian DPM. Uh, thank you very much, sir. This is Sumera from Sama TV. My question would be from the Honorable Deputy Prime Minister of Russia. So, uh, as you know that uh, Russia is holding a BRICS summit this year, and uh, you might be aware of the fact that Pakistan has already applied for uh, uh, the membership of BRICS as well. So I would love to uh, hear about uh, what is Russia's position on this uh, potential inclusion of Pakistan in BRICS. Thank you so much. And Thank the comments from uh, Deputy Prime Minister of Pakistan is also requested. Yeah. Th Thank you very much for your question. And uh, as you have uh, rightfully said, this year Russia is sharing and the BRICS and we're hosting uh, the BRICS Summit, which uh, is expected to be held very soon in the uh, beautiful Russian city of Kazan. And BRICS has uh, been originally the uh, organization of four nations, Brazil, Russia, and China. And then uh, it was slightly, slightly later, it was joined by South Africa. And uh, this is, uh, this is, uh, platform for discussion uh, where countries can meet and can freely discuss the issues of the modern world and this discussion is based on equality, mutual respect and consensus and uh, uh, this is a discussion where countries which are truly sovereign and free countries are, t uh, are participating and uh, this uh, this uh, oh, uh, this uh, this, relation, this special brotherly relationship that uh, uh, the BRICS countries, uh, BRICS nations have developed over those e the years of uh, uh, BRICS existence, BRICS as a platform, uh, is actually what is attracting uh, many countries from throughout the world to BRICS. And uh, we, uh, we are happy that Pakistan has applied and of course, of course, uh, 
BRICS and uh, uh, Shanghai Organization of Cooperation are, are brotherly organizations, and uh, uh, we would uh, be supportive of that. At the same time, there is a consensus that needs to be built within the organization to make those decisions. Uh, so, and, and uh, last year, we have seen a significant enlargement of BRICS, uh, and uh, there's a strong and huge interest and from countries throughout the world uh, to join BRICS. But, uh, of course, uh, uh, we have uh, shared a very good relationship with Pakistan, and, uh, and uh, that's uh, our position. Uh, you, since uh, you had the same question to me, I can add on to what my uh, dear, uh, you know, uh, Deputy Prime Minister of Russia has stated. Uh, surely uh, we uh, would like to be active on all regional and multilateral forums, which includes BRICS. Pakistan is keen to become a member, but obviously there is a due process of uh, becoming a member. Pakistan uh, has and would continue to comply uh, all the uh, requisites and requirements uh, which would entitle us to become a member. But then uh, again, uh, the membership is uh, allowed not by majority, but all by, by, by through consensus. So we have seen recently Belarus, uh, after a long drawn process, became member in July uh, in, at the heads of uh, state summit uh, of SCO in Astana. And uh, obviously Pakistan too, uh, you know, endorsed it and by consensus they became. So for BRICS we will be obviously looking forward. We are grateful for uh, Russian, uh, you know, informal sounding, very positive and helping and, and supporting Pakistan. We would also like to be, uh, you know, deeply involved in the new development bank, uh, which is uh, more uh, of interest to, uh, you know, to the world economic uh, actions. And so are we interested in uh, Euro-Asia European Union. Uh, we are already in uh, discussions uh, uh, with the forum uh, for, for example, considering, uh, for example, free trade agreement, et cetera, et cetera. So these things are all in progress, and Pakistan is taking, uh, you know, its due positions and interest in, uh, on, on all these multilateral uh, forums. Uh, uh, this concludes uh, today's uh, joint media stakeout, and we thank the two deputy prime ministers, the delegations, and the media for joining thank us. You. Thank you.